Degas spread here back with Astro Zone. And today, guys, we have two new books. Um, one is Astro Zone Ideas. We'll get to that one tomorrow. New Astro Zone Ideas. It's going to be card ideas and so forth. We're going to be doing some speed arts from that. And this one is the new Astro Zone rule book with a bunch of rules in it. Now, actually, the other. Why I haven't been uploading is because I've been having trouble figuring out exactly what to do with AstroZone because I had a basic, basic, just a little bitty outline and I didn't know what to do further with it and I made basically everything that I knew that I was going to make and I just ran out of ideas and so I basically restarted and I've got all my cards, all the old cards are still there, you guys haven't missed anything. Rules, rules have been changed up, some new stuff has been added, we'll get to that next video. But first off, sorry guys, I haven't been uploading. Um, been busy, been trying to fix Astro Zone, been trying to do other stuff. But yeah, sorry for that. But uh, yeah, let's get into this. And uh, if you guys are asking, because I had one person ask, my videos are not scripted. Um, I've had two videos that were partially scripted. That was how to play because I didn't want to like mess up the rules. But other than that, all my videos are unscripted. So, yeah. um, so I've got it all set up. And let me move this. At the top, it says combos, attack rules, combos, and disadvantages. I just kind of um, kind of got them sectioned off. Got a good couple of pages to read through. But yeah, first off, we got the uh, disadvantages for uh, your planet. If you looked, and there should be a picture on screen right now, uh, the little disadvantages like the code, for example, the code mostly, um, you lose 100 star points each round until it's fixed. So with the code, you can fix it with uh, campfire, and in campfire, you actually start getting some of those points back. But uh, yeah, so... That's what disadvantages. And then for our first combos, we got when you attack, you can only attack with one code, with one card at a time, not including attachments. So when you attack, and we'll get to this here in a minute, but it says when you attack, you can only attack with one card at a time. So if you're attacking somebody else's planet, you can only attack with one card. You can't attack with all your cards combined, like you can in certain mashable rules. But uh, yeah. And that doesn't include attachments. If it's got attachments to it and it's boosting its attack, you can use those along with the card. But that one card and its attachments are all you can use. Then we got attack rules. Uh, you have to pick one card to attack when attacking. So you have to use one card to attack it and you have to pick one of their cards to attack. And once you actually take out their whole military, you take over their planet. But uh, yeah. And the second attack rules, you can only play one disaster card every other round. So that sets up something, and then there's another thing that goes around with it. You can't attack and play a disaster card in the same round. So one disaster card every other round, and if you play a disaster card, you can't attack in that same round. So, yeah, or if you play, if you attack, you can't play a disaster card in the same round. And the next one is you can't attack and play more than one resource card in a round. So you, if you attack, so basically you have, if you attack, you can do, you can't do anything with it, and but you can play one resource card for your planet. And if you play a planet, your round ends, as you can see there at the bottom. Um, next page. Let me get it. You get a resource, uh, a resource point every other round. So let me explain the point system. Uh, here's some more rules on the first page. So point system, you have two types of points. You have a resource point and a star point. Um, resource points allow you to play, allow you to play stuff like planets and certain things. And star points keep track of your score. So if you're trying to get to ten thousand. And the main point of the whole game is to get to 10,000 points, like original, and to win, you have to rule opponent's zone, or your their whole solar system. So you have to get to 10,000 points and conquer the other person's whole solar system. So that can make it a little lengthy. So once you get to 15,000 points, 
you the game ends automatically. So if you don't have their whole solar system, if you get to fifteen thousand points, it ends. But to win at ten thousand, you have to have their solar system. Or now let's lengthen, let's lengthen that to twenty thousand. That way it makes it a little bit. So yeah, twenty thousand points to win without solar system. Ten thousand points with solar system. And then you got some new things. Um, you got um, a new boost attack, so you can do this at any point in the game. A uh, good little strategy is when you're, when, if they play a really good card, you want to try to do this and keep repeatedly doing this uh, to try to lower the card. But roll a five or six to double or triple attack, but cost one resource point. Resource points play a big game, a big part in the game. So yeah, and there's also a last stand. If your opponent is about to win, so if they're about to take over your whole solar system or about to get to 15,000, um, you can choose a number, and if you roll it, the game restarts, and you get a sorcerer card for the start. So if you roll the number you choose, then you restart the game, and you get a boost, which is a sorcerer card, which we'll go over in the next video. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty useful. Back to this. Um, you're going to have two piles, and this is going to go with the layup, layout. You're going to have two piles, a resource and point, a resource, planet, pile, a resource, planet, pile, and booster, and moon pile. So that's all in one. So a resource, planet, booster, and moon pile. And that's pile one. And then your pile two is attack and disaster pile. So that's how you kind of group your cards. And what you do, you just kind of group those together, and then you shuffle each deck. So yeah. It kind of keeps it a little bit separated, helps with some rules. And then there's how to play. Round one is basically all you need to know, and then you just kind of get into the game. Uh, round one, you draw five resource points. You draw five cards from pile one, and you draw two cards from pile two. And there's also another rule. Uh, I think it's still in here. We'll get to that here in a minute. But after you use up your first five and two cards... From the start, you have to pay one resource point to draw another card unless you have a card that says so. So, yeah. Okay. Um, resource points. It takes one resource point to draw after round one. Yeah, that, I should have just went to that. And uh, army. When designing army, you need a defense group and an attack group. This is a big new strategy thing that I added. So you play certain cards to your attack layout and certain cards to your defense layout. And you have to choose between those. And so that, that kind of puts more strategy into the game. And here's the layout for if you're playing cards. And this is just reversed on your opponent's end. So you have attack layout. You have your cards spread out here for attack. Your army cards spread out here for defense. Then you have your pile 1 to draw from, your pile 2 to draw from, and your resource cards played on your planet in the middle. And then you have your one sun. And you can't use two suns. That's not... No. <laughs> you can't use two suns. So you got your one sun, and you can have planet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So it's not really a planet. It's just the place it's in. So, yeah, you have one place for each card. You can't play two cards in the same place. So that's a rule. That's kind of common sense, though. Then below each place, you have two moon spots. So you can basically have two moons max for each planet, unless you have a card that says otherwise. And then we have nothing else. So that's the end of this video, guys. That's all the rules for now. Um, yeah, we'll get into the next video with all of the new cards that are going to be added to the game and the next video after that is going to be a speed art those should be up in the next week or two weeks so sorry i'm not uploading as much um i'm just trying to keep it kind of spaced out and i'm trying to make the best content possible when i do that way it's just not a one card review or something you know yeah so thank you guys for watching as always make sure to like and subscribe and uh new thing if you guys actually want to be notified every time a video comes up or on some details on new cards and purchase and all that. You can go down the link below to our Facebook page. And, um, yeah. So that's the end of this video. See, see you guys in the next guy. I can't talk today, guys. This is the end of this video. See you guys in the next one.